Hey guys, Off Grid Nation here. Hope everyone's having a great day. I wanted to talk to you guys about my Royal Berkey water filter system. This thing's been great. We've had it for, I don't know, two years or so. It was pricey, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we got the, fluid, the uh, fluoride filters, the Berkey black filters, and the stainless steel, I think it's a three gallon or 3.2 gallon uh, system. And it was roughly $350. Maybe it's come down in price since then. I don't know. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably make my own. You can look back through my videos in the DIY project uh, playlist and you'll see how I made a similar filter out of five gallon buckets. But if I had to do it for my kitchen, because I don't want a five gallon Lowe's bucket or two five gallon Lowe's buckets hanging out in my kitchen, I would use stainless steel pots. And um, so you can use the same video that I did. You just use stainless steel pots instead of buckets. Uh, and if you wanted more information, I believe Boss of the Swamp put one up where you use stainless steel pots. So I'm glad I have this though. It's awesome. It filters out 99.9999 whatever percent of all the nasty stuff. And with the uh, fluoride filters, it also filters out fluoride. And we all know fluoride's nasty, it's poison, we don't want it. But um, today what I'm doing is I'm going to be cleaning out the system and I'm going to be changing out the Black Berkey, the Black Berkey filters. I would probably use the Dalton White um, ceramic candles. They're a lot less expensive. My understanding is they get out like 95% of the stuff the Black Berkeys do. But also understand that you'll see a lot of bad press about the Black Berkey filters because they had a problem with the uh, ceramic filter medium coming unglued or coming unstuck from the uh, plastic um, manifold. And that was a horrible thing that happened in a lot of people uh, they got very upset about that. It took Berkey a long time to recognize that there was a problem and fix it, but my understanding is it's, it's been fixed now. Now, being a good prepper, I bought an extra set of filters like when I bought this. I think it was November of 2013 or 14, so it's either been one and a half or two and a half years, however long it's been, I don't know. Um, and I haven't changed the filters until right now. And these, these filters are rated for, I've seen 2,600 gallons, I've seen 3,000 gallons. The truth is it all depends on what type of water that you're going to be running through this. If you're running pond water through here, you're going to have to clean it more often and probably change your filters more often. If you're running tap water through here, um, it could last, you know, maybe a thousand gallons longer or longer than that, depending on how often you clean it. Uh, when you clean the filters, you just want to use no soap, you just use warm water and maybe a little scuff pad and go nice and easy around the filter. Uh, just take this, uh, you know, the scum that gets on there and the stuff that's filtered out, just clean that out. Just use water and then you go ahead and you reinstall it. I've done that several times. I do it every four to six months. Not a big deal. It only takes a few minutes. Um, but what I've noticed here recently is even though I cleaned these filters out just a month ago, uh, I'd say the bottom portion is not filtering through at all now. So it's time to change the filters. These are expensive. You're going to spend about $100 on two of these. Um, and that's why the Daltons might make more sense if you're just using pond water. But like I said, I bought these. They've been on my shelf. I'm going to use them. So first thing you want to do, you want to wash your hands very well before handling the filters because you don't want to contaminate the filters. And then there's a priming. Um, there's a priming function you have to go through. And we'll come back and show you that in just a minute. All right, guys. So here you got the little priming button it comes in the package you got to prime these first you can't just put them in like this so you want to place the priming button over the stem okay and then you place it in your fingers and you put it right up underneath the faucet and you hold it turn it on cold water not too hard basically what you want to do is you're trying to fill you're trying to fill the uh, the water filter medium the ceramic part with water but basically we want to fill it up and, and you want to start start seeing the uh, water weep out of the filter for about five seconds and I'm seeing that right now it's weeping right out of there we we'll just let it go a few more seconds okay and I'm also just going to wash out the off the outside there's carbon and whatever on there all right so now we're going to just do the second filter here hopefully a little cleaner than we did the first one okay good you can feel the water filling up in there. And once it gets full, you'll start seeing it weep out of the filter, which I'm not seeing yet. There it is. Okay. Oh, you see all the black come out of there. That's great. Just let that go for, for five seconds or so. Perfect. Okay. 
And I'll bring you back and just show you how we install this here in just a second. All right, guys, so here's, here's the Berkey when you take it apart. These are the um, fluoride filters. They're good for a year. And you can see that I still have some in the top of there. Even It's been in there for however long. It just won't filter. That means that I have some clogged filters here. And what I'll do is I've got to be very careful when you're taking them apart that you don't break the ceramic filter medium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these fluoride filters. And I replaced these maybe, I don't know, three or four months ago. So there's no need to replace those now. And it was the first time I replaced it in probably, I don't know, a year and a half or however long it was. Okay. You take those off. And there's a spot on here to have four filters. Now, the only thing that the extra filters do is it allows you to more quickly, it, it's just going to filter more water faster, a higher volume of water. Um, since I'm not in a hurry when I'm doing this, we, we add maybe a gallon or two to this every single day. Um, it's no big deal. Okay. So these white ones are just the plugs, okay? They're just plugged up. There's no filters in there just so you don't have leaks. And then you have these little wing nuts, plastic wing nuts. And when you're taking it apart, just hold the other end of the filter so you're not putting stress on this um, stem, on this plastic stem. Put stress on it, you can break it. These things aren't, you know, these aren't industrial. You see the filter looks good, but there is, a, like I said, I'm having a filtering problem. So it's probably time to change these out. But I'd say for the money, even though it's $99, $100 for the, uh, for the black filters, they're going to last you year, years in most cases. So it's not a big deal when you're thinking about clean water. And this is very clean water that we get. Well, I'll usually, what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of vinegar and I'll just kind of spray it in there with some warm water and just filter or just uh, clean it out. And I'll do the same thing in the bottom portion. All right, we'll be back after I do that. All right, guys, so I cleaned out both the inside of this, and believe it or not, I had a little white film on the bottom of there, so that's all nice and clean. I got vinegar and water in there, warm water. I cleaned it with a sponge. Now I'm going to just run some out through the tap, the vinegar and the warm water, and just kind of clean out whatever's in there. And now I'll just run some uh, fresh water through there, get rid of the vinegar, and we're good to go. I'll be right back. I got my prime filters on here, and they come with a little rubber O-ring that goes on the inside like so. And again, you don't want to put a whole lot of stress on this on this plastic stem. Remember, it's just plastic. You don't want to over tighten this. Remember, it's just plastic. And this may be one of the, because I bought it so many years ago, this may be one of the uh, black Berkey filters that um, had problems with the glue. So I don't want to over tighten it. Just want to snug it up nice, make sure there's no leaks coming out from around the gasket. Okay? All right, that's good there. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put the, make sure the water flow is going the right way. And I'll put the fluoride filter. Now, you don't have to get the fluoride filter. I think they're about $40 or $50 for two of them. You don't have to do that. If you don't have fluoride in the water, don't get the fluoride filter. Um, the black filters work great, but I know that my county puts fluoride in the water, and I know that I don't want it in the water. So let me just go ahead and snug that down nice, okay? Okay, guys, we got the fluoride, the fluoride filters on. We got the Berkey black filters on. Got to put it back down into the bottom stainless piece. I got it set right up next to my sink here so we can dip our glasses down in there. Otherwise, you'd have to put it on a stand. And this works just fine for us. And the only thing left to do is get some cool water. Put it right in there like that. If you, if you don't have it set up right next to your water like this, your, uh, your sink like this, you can fill a pitcher and dump it in. Like I said, it's either 3 or 3.2 gallons. I've seen LDS Prepper do a video on this where he said it's less than, I think he said less than 0 .03 cents per gallon, or was it 3 cents a gallon? In either case, it's cheap. And it's great water, it's healthy for you, and what I noticed is my family drinks a lot more water because of it. We fill up our water bottles with it, we have glasses of water, we stopped using the, the refrigerator filter, even though we have a filter on our refrigerator, um, after learning more about water filtration, I, I learned that the bacteria buildup in those things is horrible. And in some cases, it's even better not to have it, right? You know, you, you're better off using tap water than spending the 20, 30, 40 dollars on that filter. We've used Brita in the past, we've used all kinds of water filters. In Bargon, so far, this has been the best filter that we've had. Not just us, a lot of people say so. There's plenty of choices out there on the market, so you don't have to go get a Berkey, but you can use either the Dalton 
um, candlestick ceramic filters. They're going to do the majority of what the black filters do for about half the price. Or go ahead and spend the extra money, you get a better filter, supposedly according to the data that I've read, and you get the black filter. And you can make your own housing. This housing is expensive. You can get a couple of stainless steel pots for five, ten dollars or wherever you shop or find them at a garage sale or whatever. Drill a couple of holes, you get a spigot, you can buy one of these uh, uh, things if you want. This, this shows you how much water is left in here, this, this kind of a water uh, viewfinder. Or not, doesn't matter. You can go on the cheap and still get a good quality water filter, or you can spend the money and get one of these. Again, if I had to do it all over again, I'm a DIY kind of guy, I would have just used some stainless steel pots. Um, or, uh, because I have an off-grid cabin and I wanted to have filtration for security reasons away from here, if I can't carry this with me, and I usually can, but let's say I'm in a rush, I got a pond down at my off-grid cabin and I have the two five-gallon bucket system with the Dalton water filter system in there. Uh, work great for the pond water. I'll have no problem there. I'll be able to filter thousands of gallons of water and, and frankly it could last me you know, a long time down there. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Check out the Berkey. Um, and you can check out, I, I think we have all the stuff that you need if you wanted to buy this unit on the Homestead Nation Store. Uh, dot com. So check out the homesteadnationstore.com. You can buy the Dalton filters, the Berkey black filters, and or the whole system right there if you want to support the channel. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, just a quick shout out to my boy DIY Kid. He was doing the camera work on this, and he told me, hey, you might want to mention that I'll be doing a video testing the pH on a bunch of different bottled waters as well as tap water and see if the Berkey affects pH at all. So he's going to be doing a test on that and putting up a video real soon because... I guess you want to have your tap water slightly alkaline. I think that's healthier for you, like in the 7.5 range. I'm not the expert. He's the expert. So I'm going to let him tell you. Check out his video when it comes out here soon. But I just want to say this. Everybody seems to have like a catchphrase either in the beginning of their video or at the end of their video. You got Brad. He's got, you know, let's get cracking, yippee skippy and all this other stuff. You got DIY kid. It's so easy. A, a kid can do it. I'm feeling kind of left out. I want to come up with my own little slang. So it's so easy. Even a doofus can do it. It's so easy, even an old fart can do it. It's so easy, even a slightly mentally challenged middle-aged guy can do it. Be spanky!